Welcome back to 31 horror movies that I've never seen in 31 days. Today's video that I watched, no, Food of the Gods Part 2. This is a direct sequel to the original Food of the Gods from the uh, 70s. And this one follows a group of protesters um, who break into a university and destroy all the animal testing equipment. Um, all the uh, they destroy like the entire lab, and the scientists there are eager to get this experiment out, and um, they are working on the actual chemical use from the first movie that made all the rats and everything gigantic. And uh, while the protesters are in the lab um, destroying equipment, they knock over one of the cages, and one of the rats uh, gets loose and uh, ends up in the sewer, like the city sewer system. And I guess it infects all the other rodents and rats that are uh, that are down in the system and. Sure enough, after a while, there's tons and tons of giant rats running around the city. Now, this one uh, I thought was not as good as the first movie. I really liked the first film. I thought it was really good effects, really great acting, everything about it was just really, really interesting. This one, on the other hand, the only thing good about this is the effects. Uh, the, the story is weak. It's, I don't know, it's a very, very slow story. Uh, it almost seems like they had ideas for different ways for rats to kill people and then tried to incorporate the story around that. Um, which I didn't I didn't like too well, uh, but there is one moment in the entire movie that I that I loved, and it's the last twenty minutes actually. Uh, pretty much the last twenty minutes uh, starts with these giant rats come up from the, from the sewer system into a Olympic sized swimming pool during a swimming competition, and everybody like the the entire stands is full of people. You know the rats start uh, start eating the uh, swimmers first. And then it starts attacking everybody that's in the stands, and everybody starts running around panicking. It's just like 20 minutes worth of these giant rats running around eating people, killing people, um, leading up to the, to the finale of the film. I, I like that part. That was a lot of fun. If the entire movie would have been like that, it would have been a blast to watch. But other than the uh, last 20 minutes of it, the rest of the movie is very, very slow, very weak, bad acting, bad story, just everything about it uh, is just, you know, very mediocre. So... Um, if you want to watch one of the movies about giant rats, watch Food of the Gods, the original. Um, if you like it, give Food of the Gods Part 2 a chance. Uh, if you don't, then I would say stay away from this as far as you can if you don't like cheesy horror films. So uh, thank you for watching 31 horror movies that I've never seen in 31 days.